Well, David Crane joins us now from New York. He's the founder of the Syrian Accountability Project of uh, Syracuse University College of Law. Thank you very much for talking to us. Um, first things first, what do you make of these uh, satellite photos and these accusations that have been presented? Well, as the co-author of the Caesar report, we started to see indications of the disposal of these human beings. We were able to show that Assad was disposing of uh, these individuals, very much like the Holocaust in Germany in World War II. Uh, we weren't sure exactly how they were doing it, but uh, it is not surprising uh, that they have been disposing of these uh, individuals, either in mass graves, which we did find, as well as through, uh, through cremation. So how will these uh, satellite images that have been released uh, go with the evidence that you've already accrued in, in building the case against the Assad regime? Well, again, it's, uh, it's just more evidence uh, to show beyond a reasonable doubt that the Assad regime and his henchmen are committing war crimes and crimes against humanity. You know, Assad just has to understand that he's not above the law and that he hears footsteps that someday uh, there will be a knock at his door, uh, regardless of what time that is, and he'll be held accountable for what he's doing to his own citizens. What needs to happen between now and then for that to happen? Is that, the, is that likely to happen anytime soon when you consider the geopolitical ramifications and situation? No, I don't think it'll happen soon. I don't even think it'll happen in the next five years. But again, your listeners have to understand uh, that uh, there's no statute of limitations. Uh, for war crimes and crimes against humanity. And so groups such as IHEAD and others, and to include the uh, new UN office, the International Independent Mechanism, which I helped uh, form uh, back in uh, 2016 and the beginning of this year, uh, is gathering the evidence slowly, surely. Uh, and uh, when the time comes, when there's a geopolitical capability of, uh, of prosecuting uh, those who commit international crimes in Syria, uh, we'll be ready for them. We have seen a case in Spain recently against the Assad regime. Could just give us the details of that. And is that the start of this legal process becoming more and more of a reality, more likely? Yes, I, I agree. I think it's very encouraging to see uh, other countries uh, prosecuting uh, Syrian individuals uh, who have done damage and harm uh, to their own citizens and the uh, case in Spain is a perfect example of what other countries in Europe and elsewhere are doing now is holding accountability using domestic law, not international law, uh, for the crimes that they're committing uh, against uh, citizens of other countries. So I'm encouraged. Uh, I think the world understands that this has to be done, but I fully uh, appreciate, I'm a realist, that right now, politically, uh, it's just not the right time to hold these individuals accountable. But I'll leave your listeners with this point. Uh, back when I was prosecuting uh, uh, Charles Taylor, we indicted him in 2003. Charles Taylor never uh, expected 14 years later that he would be sitting in a maximum security prison in England for the rest of his life for uh, committing international crimes. So sometimes it takes time, uh, but I can assure you uh, that someday Assad and his henchmen will be held accountable uh, for the horror uh, that is going on in Syria. Uh, David Crane, thank you very much for talking to us.